Good morning, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. This is Mark with Waste Deep Wade Fishing, Southwest Florida. Out at a new location. We are at the Yucatan, but at a different entry. Perfect. Today we are going to be hunting big sea trout and redfish, and we have the perfect conditions for the top water action. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to take you on a walk through the trail to get to this location, and I will see you on the water. Again, I want to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Keeping up with Waste Deep Wade Fishing Southwest Florida. Love you all. Let's get this thing going. So, we're starting off the trail. Now, in the winter time, this particular trail is completely dry. But because of the rains that we just recently had, I knew this was going to come. It would be flooded. But, it's definitely easy to walk through. It's not as bad as the other trail. This is more down towards the oyster bars that we're gonna be working on this incoming tide. This is just some of the natural beauty all around me. Part of the Florida Yucatan Preserve or Charlotte Birding Trail or Charlotte Birding, excuse me, the Charlotte, Charlotte Preserve Trail. Just acres, acres, and acres of federal land. If you get lucky enough, sometimes you'll see some wildlife around here too. So we're gonna keep on walking through, doing what we do, and uh, I'm gonna take you on a walk through this trail. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, so we're at the uh, about the, the quarter of the way mark. It's getting a little deep here. As you can see, again, in the winter time, this is completely dry, but we did have a lot of rain last night. So unfortunately, got to walk through some of this slop, but you can see that it is a well-maintained trail. A lot of old oaks and pines, just beautiful. If you like the outdoors, I highly suggest taking a walk down this trail. Again, there's not too much to worry about, you know, just keep your eyes open and uh, you should be fine. about halfway through so right about the halfway mark not too bad considering it rained a lot last night probably gonna get a little bit more muddier up here we're getting close to the opening but very very cool I usually only start coming here in November but I wanted to give it a shot now since we had a change in temperature and we are on a uh, full moon tonight and we have a low barometer so we're just gonna keep on going now this is the deep part right here when walking through just keep your eyes open that's all look at your surroundings Make sure it's safe. I've been coming down here 10 years. Rarely see anything to get, get me worried about. And we're just about here. Right around this bend. All right, well, we made it. There's the opening right here. There is the infamous east wall out there and uh, we finally got to the spot not too bad of a walk definitely well worth the trip what's up YouTube we have finally made it to the east wall we are here Charlotte birding trail early in the morning incoming tide nice flat water out there as you can see the sandbar all the way out there that's why we call it the east wall so stay tuned oh. 
There's a good trout. All right. Okay. All right, so we got our first trout on for the day. Out on the flat. Got him on the top water. Pretty color. Very tannic. Come here, buddy. Easy. Come here. He's got that. He's got that hook right in his back. So I'm trying to get a hold of him. There we go. Okay. Fish on. That's a good fish. Nice trout. Woo. That's a good trout right there. That's what we came for. Yes. Come here, baby. That's all we came here for. If I can just get him before he gets off the hook. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Oh. That is what we came here for. Look at that beautiful trout. There's the gators we're looking for. Beautiful. Look at that trout. That is what we're here for, right there. Those big, full transitioning trout. It's a beautiful one. See you, buddy. There's another little small one that we got. All right, pretty. Get him off the hook. All right, so we're heading down into the deeper cut of the east wall. If you look out there, you can see a heron and he's walking on the sandbar. So I'm basically just pitching all the potholes. We switched it up. We went from a top water to the jig, and the jig is producing. Now we're looking for that redfish. Oh, fish on. Nice trout. Nice trout. All right, that's what we came here for. Those big old gators, wintertime gators. And he, he, he swallowed it. All right, buddy. Come here. There we go. He's got it deep. He's got it deep. Might have to do a little surgery here. Man. All right. So we're still cruising down. So far, having a real good day on the trout. I'm still looking for that redfish. Got a couple of over 20s already. But we're looking for that red. We're gonna work a little bit more and then we're gonna head back up towards those trees once the tide comes in and fade. Oh, uh, damn and fish the, uh, the oysters on the way back in. Fish on. Another good trout. 
Another good trout. Got some nice ones over here right now. Come here. There we go. That's a good sized trout. Beautiful. There we go. Pretty, pretty trout. That's number five for today. See ya. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, we put our days of work in. Uh, we got five trout, scoped out the area. Didn't get any redfish, unfortunately. Wasn't the exact right tide. We're looking for those negative tides for those tailing redfish. They were not around today, but we did get five monster trout, two on top water, three on a jig. Awesome day, it's looking good. Another 30 more days, this water is gonna be a little bit cooler and those reds are gonna be here by the thousands. So take care, love you all. This is Mark with Waste Deep Wade Fishing saying, see you on the water. Get yourself a yellow mouth, get yourself a redfish, get yourself a snook. Give me a call if you need some help. I'll take you out there and show you how to do it. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. And again, thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing, and I will see you soon.